I think we like this in Africa. No, that didn't happen. Even common course reps. <laughs> <laughs> What are your plans uh, after graduation? What are your personal aspirations for yourself and for your home country and for the world or whatever? <laughs> in my part of the world, in Nigeria, in Africa generally, um, particularly, I'm interested in young people's development from the health aspect. So throughout my working career, I have noticed that when young people's development or development generally is being spoken about is in terms of, oh, get a job, employment, education. Um, and when you talk about health, it's more of medical angle. Um, I am not feeling fine, go to the hospital, see the doctor. Whenever I tell my friends or tell people around me that, oh, I'm interested in young people's health, they're like, are you a doctor? And I'm like, I'll be a doctor soon, but not a medical doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I realized so many people do not see health from the social side mm -hmm. point of view. Um, a lot of young people have missed out on opportunities, development, educational opportunities, work opportunities, because health has been looked at as either a medical um, factor, if anything beyond medical factor, then it's a religious problem. Or it's, a, it's a, basically, yeah, it has something to do with religion. And as you, based on that, many people have not um, achieved what they wanted to achieve in life. So I want to bring that into our culture to make people understand that health is not just about medical or religious. It could just be the social environment, how you treat the person, how you interact with the person. Um, and um, through that, I believe that um, in my only two way, I'll be able to contribute to development. Um, at this point, I'm still exploring how I would go about that. Um, I the world is big for me. <laughs> I'm still exploring, basically. Creating an NGO. Um, won't tell you the name yet. <laughs> but we'll be creating an NGO in my country. And for my project, uh, my project involves me creating a play package uh, for use here in Hong Kong. So we have um, opportunity to liaise with NGOs or for-profit organizations here in Hong Kong. And then I thought for my country, since we don't really have that, and I know the ground there mm. i can create an ngo so that's really one thing i want to do is design the package uh market it we hope it works my co-supervisor is always saying no no you're going to be millionaires <laughs> 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 you know like if the package works you know because we've had enough opportunities to not only with guidance but also with um funding opportunities mentorship opportunities like through the cgiu and also through the yeah, innovation yeah. fund yeah yeah, the, and yeah. right now the Lean and Entrepreneurship uh, Initiative is also interested in the project. Okay. So it's really a good platform for us. The NGO is really the route we're going to. So we're hoping to set it up. We're going to start setting it up. I think we've already started laying the groundwork. We're trying to get the board of directors. Maybe I'll consult some of you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and then get that running. And if that, hap if that works out, it means that I will be working as an early childhood expert in my country with a focus on child development, like what can you do to make sure that your children are getting the stimulation that they need, you know, and also parenting programs. So that's really what um, I'm focused on. In fact, if you look at the continent of Africa and Ghana, but you are faced with a lot of social problems, um, I think the continent is seen in quotes as, as the poorest continent. Um, we have a lot of resources, but yet we're unable to exploit these resources effectively and efficiently to help see the kind of development the continent aims or aspires to uh, achieve. But all borders on research, borders on good leadership, borders on good policies. Mm. Leadership is my example. And if you really want to create leaders, you need to lead by example. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what we have learned directly and indirectly from LinkedIn, in fact, I've learned a lot. It's not only about the classroom. Extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. meeting professors who are top there, but they are humble. Yeah. They care about students. They care about your welfare. I think we like this in Africa, but even common course reps. <laughs> <laughs> only the extracurricular activities the values, the attitudes that you're also picking up indirectly. Yeah. When you go back, your team will be able to make an impact. Mm 